Thank you guys for tuning in and today I'm going to be showing you how to install oops how to install one of these bad boys here the knobs is took off of this if you need to know how to take your knobs off this and it is actually broke so what you want to do is just pull straight out on them they're going to be a little tight well, that one's past tight, ain't it? Eek. Move this lottery ticket out of the way. Ooh, that's a lottery ticket. Out of the way. And pull straight out. Okay, needless to say, if they don't come undone, good for you. It don't matter if they come off or not. I just want to show you how. Well, the bezel... It's all the way around this key and stuff this is all one piece this bezel here is it will pull straight out now this guy right here he pops out you can see this has been through better times it's been broke before and it was just sitting in there but it pops straight out you can then grab this sometimes you can pop this out with that piece still intact you go around it pull straight out it comes out and you got some plug-ins behind it and you can unplug them once you get that unplugged you can come down here and unplug your cigarette lighter it's right here now once you get this loose it comes out easier if you put the car in neutral once you get that you got two bolts one on each side one off and one over here behind this I know he is hit but you need to remove those two bolts now once you get this you can pull it straight out just like so where you can get to it easy make sure your car is turned off because they are vacuum pressure on these And you don't want to cause no leaks. So, this is going to be the most easiest part, I personally think. Turn you some light on. Need to remove these clips right here. Now, these guys is vacuum lines. And they pretty well just bend over. You will have to take a pair of a little pair of pliers. Or one way to help get that out sometimes you can maneuver them off and just pull them off but this guy right here is kind of clipped on you can see right here you just bend these clips that way and pull it off pretty simple this is the climate control unit all we moved you can pretty well set that down and replace it with your new unit or used unit same way you just removed it just hook it back up okay I have no knobs for this at all I got one but I think it's broke As you can see it is this one didn't have any somebody done snatch these up but you can order these knobs separate so that's no biggie but to test this out you actually do need a knob you can get in here with your hands but his little rough a knob helps out to ministry so I got that knob off this unit that was you know kind of stuck so we can try it out so let's try turning it on okay that works a little dusty but it works so let's try this on let's see if it changes Defrost. It works. It seems we got AC on and it is pretty cold. Yep, AC works. Let's see. What's it at? I like to see if heat works. Heat works. Yay! Looks great. 
Now all we have to do is get some knobs. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on pretty well installing your uh, Comet control head unit on the Grand Dam. Huh. I don't know if that's normal or not, but it's working. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on installing the climate control on your Pontiac Grand Am. And if you did, drop a like. I appreciate it if you do. Uh, hit that subscribe button. More videos to come. Check my channel out for tons more content. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.